if you've not worked with a cable before, <clears throat> chances are, and it's a new pattern, it will come with a chart. And the chart is going to show the number of columns, number of rows, and then it's going to have a legend. And the legend is going to describe what you do in each one of those squares, the intersection of a row and column. And these are knit stitches. These are purl stitches, and these are the cables. Now, cable charting, there's a lot of variation in it, but this happens to be the one my cable charting pattern uses. And this one represents <clears throat> where the cable goes towards the left, the cable that's on the top goes over towards the left, the stitch that is um, on the bottom is over here. And in this case, what I'm going to want to do, because I want to transfer from knit two, purl two ribbing, which this is, to a cable, I'm going to take these two knit stitches over one stitch, work them, and then cable them, and then reverse it out and break up the cable pattern. Now, um, when I have my stocking, and this is the cable pattern that I'm using on this sock, I also used it. Uh, as one cable going up the side of the woman's sock. You can see that it starts off as ribbing. The cables or the two columns of knit um, move over one stitch. Those exit the purl stitches go to the right and to the left of that. Work a row, then I cable them, then I repeat the same thing. And that's all this cable is. Now to work a cable and it really is not difficult and it makes perfect sense if you think about it. I need to have these two stitches go where that one purl stitch is. So I'm going to insert my cable needle, take those stitches to the front. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll see 2F uh, cable CF2 and that's saying two stitches cable front. There's a lot of different nomenclature that's used for that. And I'm going to purl this stitch. Then I'm going to knit these two stitches. And that's really all cabling is. You're just transferring the position of the stitches by bringing the stitches in front or back. Now, I have this stitch, this one purl, that I want to go to the left of those two knit stitches. So in order to do that, I'm going to put it on my <coughs> cable needle. I'm going to knit those two stitches and then I'm going to move the purl. And this is all fairly self-explanatory. I mean, when you look at it, obviously you would have that, hold on, Petty. Uh, obviously I would have that uh, purl stitch behind the two knit stitches because it would look stupid otherwise. Let's do it one more time. Knit, knit. And I'm going to put those two stitches and because I want them on top, I'm gonna have them to the front. I'm going to purl that stitch. My cat wants a treat. If you can hear her, she's crying for it. Poor little blind kitty. And then I'm going to put that single purl, keep it to the back because I don't want it on top. And look what I did. I like to demonstrate how I drop stitches all the time and you just get them back. It's not the end of the world. You don't panic. You don't rip out. You just go and find them. I'm going to knit those two guys, and then I'm going to purl this stitch. <clears throat> okay, and <laughs> would you look what I did? <laughs> that was dumb. I had that column of ribs, so I'm going to be taking that one out. Uh, this is why you should pay attention to your work and not to your cat moaning. Now, I never feel bad when I make a mistake because that just enables you to learn how to fix mistakes. Meow. You have to wait, Petty. Okay. So if you make a mistake, you just undo it and you try not to drop the stitches. and <clears throat> go back to where you were. I've had kind of an upsetting day and I think this is reflected in 
type of mistake I'm making right now. Okay, I'm going to work over to where that is. And purl that guy. Get those two stitches over. And then get this one. And you just repeat that. Now, I'm going to do a part two of this video where I do where the two knit <clears throat> columns of knit stitches cross each other. And so this is for the single one over and it is uh, what you will be using in the bow tie pattern as well. Ugh. Okay, got it. And there we have it.